Ambassador Lavin, yeah. hello, good to hey. see you. Good Happy New Year, Thanks. Feliz Navidad right. and all that stuff. Yeah. The um, I thought the world was on a steady path to recovery and then yeah. boom, these numbers yeah, from Singapore somehow. Yeah, surprising, somehow. surprising. But remember this though, Singapore is a mid-sized economy and it's also a highly internationalized economy. It is going to see those swings, more volatility in those Singapore GDP numbers on a quarter on quarter basis than almost any country in the world. So I, I'd say when you're looking at Singapore numbers, look at a few quarters, look at the annual numbers, and you'll you'll have a more accurate read than just a 90-day figure. Okay, so myopia would be a dangerous thing in, in this case. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. look, I, we numbers. were just in Singapore uh, yesterday, and uh, yeah, they're struggling with the global downturn, but they're getting through it. I mean, I think, I think the on-the-ground situation in Singapore is far more positive than those numbers would suggest. Okay. Um, are we, do we have consensus then that uh, last year, it was interesting, I mean, last year, uh, many were calling even worse after 2008, you know, deleveraging and there's worst yet to come. And yet we bounced off those March lows like there was no tomorrow. Yeah. People developed this tolerance for risk, which yeah, came faster. On, equity, on the equities run, sure, right. and on commodities as well. Yeah, uh, yeah I, is, is that run over or not? I'll tell you this, uh, and maybe this keys another subject. I mean, I think if you're looking at macroeconomic activity across ASEAN, I think in general it's pretty good. I mean, you've got respectable numbers in Indonesia, uh, Singapore is going to do okay in uh, 2010, uh, and we've got this FTA coming along. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is kind of a, this is kind of a year where you know with the the term decoupling we we we've, we've kind of grabbed from time to time yeah. in different contexts, yeah. but. You know, there is a camp out there that says the U.S. will go through more deleveraging. You know, they're, they're, the unemployment rate, yep. while coming down, is still naggingly high. And this is largely a jobless recovery. So forget about America being your savior. You better concentrate on your own backyard and sort out problems best you can in yeah. your own neighborhood. Uh, look, I think there's some truth to that. I think the U.S. economy will be in the positive zone in 2010, but it might be anemic. It might be 2% growth, and that's not enough horsepower to take the, year, the world ahead. Mm -hmm. So the U.S. isn't going to be the savior, but the U.S. won't be a drag or be a problem either in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, are, you more positive, are, you, are you more optimistic about 2010 then, in, in, in yeah, general? Yeah, I am. Well, look, here's the point. In 29, we were looking off the edge of a cliff. I mean, we were looking yeah. at a global financial meltdown. We did the, the, whatever criticism you want to give Bernanke, they did put liquidity in the system. They did stabilize the financial sector. We did move back away from the edge of the cliff. Mm -hmm. Now we've got conventional cyclical macroeconomic problems, which I think I agree with you are going to lag. And some of the things we're doing in the U.S. might be contributing to the problem rather than ameliorating the problem. But nothing's going to go kaboom anymore. But nothing's going to go kaboom. We're not going to see any more financial collapse. The investor confidence comes back. Consumer confidence comes back. How do we know that? The checks and balances are in place. We get the we know the alarm. Well, I think the way that, look again for all the government problems, the one thing. Washington, D.C. did very effectively, I think, was get behind the financial sector right in the middle of a crisis and to say, we're going to stand behind our banks, we're not going to let them go under. And that was reassuring to the broader market. Uh -huh. so, and things are starting to crawl back. Even the credit markets are thawing yeah, out. Yeah, they are. But I think well. you're right. There's not a lot of business appetite. I mean, who wants to take on risk mm -hmm. at this point? Who wants to bet on economic growth at this point? So mm -hmm. I think for 2010, it's going to be incremental business decisions, not the big uh, CapEx and the big yep. investments that really power the economy.